okay this is the sapota grafting it's a fruit that we we have graft that sapota fruit this is the rootstock of the sapota that we are going to graft with the sapota trees there is two of them here and two of them here okay and this is the branch we are going to graft this one here where my finger is that's where we are going to graft see how he is peeling the branches now we are going to graft the supporter now he is going to tie a string there see how he is making the knots there see now he is going to support a st uh, stock roots he is peeling it there. there that's how he is peeling it okay going to put it up here and align it see how he did align it see how he did align it here now he is going to tie it up with the string okay see how he is tying it up and you have to have a strength here to pull this string here just now if you, if you don't pull it uh, string very well it's not going to get stuck it's not going to go to bind it and this thing here it will get binding in about two months time from now two to two and a half months by the June plastic bags up there so it doesn't get lean on this thing or it doesn't get branch doesn't get broken off okay there he is putting it up string there there you go now he's going to tie it up with the pole here that is going to support it okay see how he's support he's tying it up with the pole to support the supporter grafted supporter tree see how he's peeling the branches Here you go. I'm going to show you there. That's our branches. That peeled branches. Can you see there? That's like kind of milk is coming out there. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now he's going to peel it uh, rootstock here. You can see there. And this is how we peel the rootstock. Okay. Now. Can you see the can you see the things like milk is coming out here that milk here and the other branches the main mother branches this milk is going to get the binding with this thing it will take about two months to get binding and it should be ready by the monsoon in June see how he aligned that there you go okay. you can see that he's aligned it that and now he's going to tie it up with the string now we can see clearly there You can see how he's tying up the plastic bag. We have to tie this bag up with the support because once we put the water in there, we pour the water in there, the bag will go down and the tree will be there and it will be dying. So we have to get support like this with the string and he's going to tie it up on top with the pole there. there he's done that's the finished product and here where my finger is we have to water this plant every day till the may or june when the monsoon comes that's it should be ready and if you can see here this thing it will get binding together where my finger is and here's some more see here this thing here see, can you see the gap that gap will be get binding in there and we know that it should be ready 
here we have some plant we already grafted something here some around here some here some here too you see this is in my farm here I'm going to show you many of the trees that what we done here you can see clearly here and here too And this business we are doing for past 40, 45 years. We, we are doing this for the generation. This business is coming down from many generations to us. And Ordering the grafted supporta plants. We have to do this every day. Now it's winter here, but by <coughs> mid of April to uh, May it will be very hot. It goes to about 42 degrees. Then we have to water it in the morning and in the evening twice a day. Mid of, in the May, it will be very hot here, it's about 42 degrees, so we have to water it in the morning and evening twice a day. And this is how we watering our grafted <coughs> supporter plants. 